Good afternoon, fellow 3D artists and game developers and Blender users. Um, so this is a video. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to make a, a a short video talking about a an issue in 3D modeling called non-manifold geometry, right? And the reason I wanted to make a video about this is because this is a, a problem that I see. Uh, with the 3D models of some sort of start, uh, 3D artists starting out or junior 3D artists who tend to make this mistake with their 3D models, um, and it's a it's a sort of it's a a much misunderstood concept in 3D modeling, and so I just wanted to make a video to clarify what inverted commas non-manifold geometry is, uh, why it's a problem, and how not to do it basically, right? Um, so as you can see on my screen, I've got some meshes here, right? And um, so so let's so let's just start by let's just start. Well, so we've got some meshes here. Now all of all three of these meshes are examples of non-manifold of non-manifold geometry, right? Now let's just make this very clear. Non-manifold geometry is a bad thing. It's bad. Like there is no reason ever to have non-manifold geometry in your 3D models. You should never have it. I really cannot think of a single example where having non-manifold geometry is a good idea. So you should just avoid it at all costs, right? But what it, what is non-manifold geometry? So in order to find non-manifold geometry, let's just first define manifold geometry, right? So manifold geometry is what you want. Right, and you should all your your three D models for games and for rendering and and also especially for three D printing should always be inverted commas manifold geometry, right? And these are examples of manifold geometry, right? Now, um, please uh, please understand that manifold geometry does not mean does not mean one sided geometry. This is one sided geometry, but this is still manifold geometry. Right. This is not non-manifold geometry. This is manifold geometry. Right. And what this basically means is that is that this geometry is good, or it uh, it is invert commas rational geometry. Right. So what no, what non-manifold geometry really is is when you have a situation. So that the the straightforward definition of non-manifold geometry is actually um, an edge that has three or more surfaces connected to it right so this edge for example right actually ha actually has four surfaces connected to it that one edge has four surfaces connected to it right now why is that why is that a problem well the reason it's a problem is because because these these planes because these planes are one sided right because of the fact that this edge has four surfaces connected to it, there is no way that you can mathematically calculate the normals, the vertice normals, to all point in the correct direction, right? So if I turn on uh, what's called backface culling, right? And what backface culling does is it shows back faces, right? And I start, I've turned it on, and now we can see that this face here, right, this is a back face, and there's a back face. And, and so what this means is that there's no way to calculate this geometry in order for all of the normals to be facing in the correct in the correct direction. Right? If so if I turn on the normals make the length a bit longer. Right? You know, there's no way that you because that's the that's the the direction the normal is facing. There's no way that you can have this face actually point in both directions because it's important to remember that by default geometry is always one-sided, right? So let's take a look at some other examples of non-manifold geometry. Uh, this is an example. This is an example of non-manifold of non-manifold geometry because this face. Right, as uh, remember the rule, uh, non-manifold geometry is an edge that has more that has three or more surfaces connected to it. There's no way that you know. So, like that is manifold, but that is non. That's you know. Sorry, the you know here the normals are pointing in the correct direction, but on this side they're not pointing in the in the correct direction. And there's no way that you can calculate the normals for this model. So even if I switch. The normal direction. There's always going to be some normals 
that are back faces. And that's, and that's what non-manifold geometry is. And basically, you really, really want to avoid this right in your 3d models you don't want to have geometry like this um, because it causes problems with the normal calculation uh, you know it, it will cause parts of your meshes to be invisible in game um, you know it's, it's just generally a bad thing and you should you should avoid it uh, I'm just gonna make a, I'm just gonna make another sort of uh, qu another quick example of some non-manifold geometry right so if I uh, just move this over here and I then extrude this down, extrude it along. And now, if I if I extrude this up like this, and then connect those, right? That is that is manifold geometry, right? Because all of the nor you know you can calculate this in a way where the normals are all pointing out, where the normals are all pointing outwards. That's good, right? However, if I Instead of connecting it like that, I connect it like this, right? Once again, you've got a situation where this edge has got more than three surfaces connected to it. And there's no way now, right, you know, that this surface is now connected to a back face. And that's bad, right? It's just, you just don't want that in your 3D models, right? Um, you know, so that is an example, that is another example of non-manifold geometry. Right. Uh, let's take a look at this. This is this is a really really interesting uh, sort of example of non-manifold geometry. This is a Mobius. This is a Mobius strip, right? A rather crudely modelled Mobius strip. But um, what it what it's got is that this this surface actually only has one surface. So if I follow this round all the way around, I follow this all the way around. Eventually, you come to a point where you've got back faces, right? And then they're all back faces all the way round until it eventually flips again. Right? It's very strange. So it's a, it's essentially a non it's a non rational object, right? Uh, and you should basically never have that in your you should never have that in your three D models. Okay? You always want to have manifold geometry, right? Which is geometry like this kind of geometry. Okay, so I hope that uh, explanation has been helpful. Um, if you're interested, if you're interested in understanding um, manifold and non-manifold geometry to a deeper level, you can always check out the Wikipedia page uh, called Manifold, which will explain, you know, a very deep mathematical explanation of, of this concept in in uh, in the subject of geometry and topology, right, and mathematics. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I hope that this uh, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Uh, don't put non-manifold geometry in your 3D models. <laughs> All right. Um, good luck with your work and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.